can you provide some examples of kind of classic companion plant pairs and explain why they work well together? Yeah. Uh, well, so like basil tomatoes would probably be a, a pretty good one. You see a fair amount of. Uh, basil repels like white flies that would eat the tomatoes and aphids as well. Uh, and the tomatoes provide shelter for the basil, and the basil in turn produces more exudates to feed it more sugars and things that it needs. Um, carrots and onions. Uh, these actually carrots and onions are actually a pretty cool one because the carrots repel onion flies, and onions repel carrot flies. <laughs> oh wow! Right. Um. And then if you pair those, of course, then with other things that are going to be able to feed the soil, um, like, you know, back into like your lentils and your peas and beans and stuff, you're keeping the, the soil quite healthy. Because they're usually like peas, pe onions and carrots are usually planted very far apart from everybody else, right? There's a lot of like waste space kind of in there. Um, I think, I don't know, in terms of like, you know, maybe cabbage and dill. Cabbage and dill is another like really good one where the dill uh bring in like lace wings and they'll and ladybugs and they'll eat some of the like cabbage eating worms and and pests right so there's the biggest thing is in terms of like pairings is what are you what do you want to grow what is the crop that you are going to eat look up the crop you'll be like these are the ones i like and i really have a hard time growing them but they're always getting chewed up whatever it is happening so okay i want to grow carrots well then i'll pair them with onions this year I love tomatoes, but I always struggle with them. Well, then I'll feed my tomatoes, uh, basil, and like peas and beans or something like that to be able to help feed the soil and especially those heavy feeders like tomatoes and corns and melons and beans. Like, it, biggest thing is just look it up. Like, what are the things that you, you know, you want to grow and you want to have a successful crop of? There's a pairing for it. There's also a pairing that will probably not help it as well. So, you know. Biggest thing is just look it up. Be like, I want a big, healthy crop of this this year. What goes well with it? <laughs> I have a couple listed here that uh, I think I'd mention, although I don't know why they're good pairs. Maybe you can answer that for me. Alyssum with tomatoes, lettuce with beans, and cucumbers and basil. Have you heard about any of those pairs before? I honestly haven't even heard about those pairings. Some So... One thing I have noticed is a lot of the pairings of, like, why one doesn't work or why one does, a lot of it's anecdotal. It's, like, old farmer talk kind of thing. Um, what is it? Is it dill, dill and tomatoes? They say that, like, early dill feeds the tomatoes, but then when it grows up tall, it stunts the tomatoes. But nobody says why it stunts the tomatoes. They don't say if it's stealing nutrients or what it is. So there's a lot of like, there's a lot of anecdotal evidence of like, oh, you just, we just don't put those together because they just don't do well. And I'm cool with that. <laughs> you know, they, you got a lot of, you got a lot of experience with it and it doesn't work together. But all right, I'll take you face value for that. But there's, yeah, a lot of it you might want to just, that's why I say like, do some research, look it up, kind of, you know, maybe... Maybe it's just because it's an old wives' tale or whatever it is, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good advice. Look it up. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that's it's you know it's twenty twenty four, right? Like, get on Google, look it up, see what grows well in your area. Uh, what kind of crops do you want to grow? What would pair well with them? And if you want to go like you want to get crazy with it, like how you restore your soil and how we feed the soil and what is whatever else we're doing, you can go to like like I say, Science Direct. I think it's .org or .com, and you can look up all kinds of studies of, like, what is what is the, you know, alfalfa as a cover crop, fenugreek as a cover crop, barley, nasturtiums, exudates. Like, you can, you can break it down into, you know, what are the absolute best pairings for what I'm doing, right? So, I mean, that's, that's, that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> this clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code MrGrow at 15 to save on any of their products. Thank you.